Hastings here at Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is the ninth round as maybe Doug DeWitt maybe senses something happening in round number nine. Taking Hoy back, I think because of the amount of Vaseline on his, uh, over his eyes. He does have a cut over that left eye. And they had a lot of coagulant there. And uh, now Rico Hoy ready to fight again. Tony Orlando, the referee. Right up over the top of us. DeWitt was almost enraged in his corner in between rounds. He just wanted to get in there and finish Hoy off. And uh, they asked him how he felt, and he said, strong, real strong. You know, one of the things, Al, having worked the boxing program with you here in Atlantic City, guys like Doug DeWitt and those that really know that they're on their way up, such cooperation we receive from these fighters that realize how important the publicity towards their fighting game is. Well, I think part of the, the reason they're here on ESPN is the exposure, let's face it. And uh, right now, it's good exposure for Doug DeWitt because he is banging Rico Hoy and has him in big trouble. Tony Orlando, oh, the referee, right really watching it here. Rico Hoy landed a good solid right to the head of DeWitt. You see, DeWitt has a good chin. Tony Rico Orlando Hoy. backing him again. Good right to the body. I'll tell you, DeWitt has worked that body beautifully during this fight, as he always does. And Rico Hoy feeling every one of those shots now. Big trouble. He's, he's almost out on his feet. Halfway through the ninth round. Scheduled for 10, but now Doug DeWitt, really. Starting to put the punishment on Rico Hoy. You know, Hoy has landed some excellent straight right hands with counter shots, but DeWitt has walked through him. There's another chopping right hand. I think you alluded to the fact, though, Al, from about the sixth round on, he's been landing them, but they've had very little steam behind him. Rico Hoy is showing us some heart here and a good chin because he's taking some good shots from DeWitt, and as Absolutely. I said, DeWitt has power in that left hand. Under a minute to go in round nine. Hoy trying to pot shot from long range. DeWitt trying to duck underneath and come into him on the ropes. Twenty-two-year-old Doug Witt, thirty-year-old Rico Hoy. And you know when they look, people look back at this fight. If it turns out to be a ten-round decision for Doug DeWitt, which is possible, they will look back at the fact that Rico Hoy was able to hit him with those counter shots when he came in at least enough to maybe turn this fight in his favor, but they never had a big effect on DeWitt. It was his inability to hurt Doug DeWitt that turned it in his favor. So as the ninth and final of next to last round comes down to an end, it is once again Doug DeWitt and Bobby Rico Hoy. They'll go to the 10th round when we continue. This thumb in the eye from Doug DeWitt grimaced and complained to the referee, but uh, I think that was quite unintentional. Well, across the way, Rico Hoy's corner has just about given up the hope of a possibility as, of course, some of the support work coming loose on behind Rico Hoy. And they said, all we want is just three more minutes. They realize an opportunity to win this one is just about over, but they want to have him go the distance here. Scoring unofficially here, Al Bernstein. Well, I see the fight very clearly in DeWitt's corner. I've got him ahead 7-2 going into the 10th round, and I think even in Hoy's corner, we sense in their comments, they feel the fight is uh, one that can only be in, uh, won by Hoy if he scores a knockout. So the three judges will be handing Tony Orlando the decision at the end of this one as we are now in the 10th and the final round. Sharp right that time by DeWitt. Good right by Doug DeWitt. A good indication he's not a tremendous right-handed puncher. It's the left hook with the big power. And I think as he moves on as a professional, it's the right hand he'd like to develop a little bit more. He has a good left uh, hook, a good left jab, and uh, he uses that left well, but the right hand's the one I think he'll work on. Al, one of the things he said he was not totally, maybe fully prepared for Tindley. How about his conditioning, his preparation for tonight's fight? Are you well pleased with that? Well, really, except for the sixth round in which he uh, kind of took a breather for three minutes, he has fought at a pretty quick pace here. So you've got to say that uh, for a fighter who has only been, has been 12 once and uh, never passed eight other than that fight, he looks like a very sharp 10-round fighter. ESPN middleweight champion, Doug DeWitt in the red. A game and hearty Rico Hoy at 30 years of age out of Detroit, Michigan, hanging on here in the 10th. A couple of times, like in the ninth, it looked like Hoy might be on the verge of going, but he has hung in there. And let's give him credit for that. His corner said they just wanted three more minutes. And so far, so good as he's gone two of this last and final round. The 
Wade just looking for an opening. Hoy caught him. The Wade has become much more adept at slipping punches. He showed that against Tinley. And uh, interestingly, I think Rico Hoy has hit the width of the head maybe more than Mike Tinley did over 12 rounds. Even though Hoy is uh, losing the fight uh, perhaps more dramatically than Tinley did. So as Doug DeWitt goes into the final seconds here of the round, we've got 30 to go. Rico Hoy just trying to stay alive in this 10th round as he's had a game fight here tonight, but it has been DeWitt. And has really carried it and he continues to throw some sharp punches here in the 10th. But again, there's the good head movement by DeWitt. DeWitt lands an overhand right, and Doug says, hey, I'm not going to take too many chances. I'm just going to win this decision, which he feels he's going to win. So in the closing seconds of round number 10, this packed house here tonight at Resorts International has seen Doug DeWitt, the ESPN champion, and both the fighters who had squared off a little more right at the bell, now embrace Doug DeWitt showing his respect to Rico Hoy as Doug DeWitt has carried the fight. Even though Rico Hoy has slid into it, we'll have the decision for you in a moment. Rico Hoy has gone the distance here tonight with Doug DeWitt. DeWitt, the fine ESPN champion out of Yonkers, New York, though, had taken the fight from the early stages. Hoy had a couple of moments of delight for the crowd here tonight at Atlantic City, but for the most part, Doug DeWitt. Al Bernstein has put on quite a show here tonight at Resorts International. A little different fight than he fought against Mike Kinley, but he showed us that on the inside, he's also an excellent fighter. Michael Buffer, the ring announcer, stands by. We've got the official decision on tonight's 10-round middleweight in the center ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here at Resorts International, we have a unanimous decision. Here is the official scoring. Judge John Stewart scores it five rounds to four, one even. Judge William Kostrup scores it seven rounds to three. And Judge Tommy Kazmarek scores it Eight rounds to one, one even for the winner, Doug the Cobra D. 